Stress comes from a feeling of lack of control when an organization is caught in a complex web of problems. Often, actions taken to deal with one set of problems leads to another, creating an inescapable vicious loop. Many OEMs experience frequent delays in the availability of parts or components needed for final assembly. When this happens, they try to expedite the parts by persuading their vendors, the Tier 1 component makers, to reschedule their production plans. OEMs also reschedule their own production plans to prevent their capacity from being underutilized. This leads to further rescheduling of vendors' production plans. When production plans are rescheduled, it disturbs the vendor's monthly plan of raw material, bought outs, manpower, capacity and so on. This delays and disrupts the supply of parts to OEMs. When this happens frequently, OEMs perceive the vendor as unreliable. To improve availability of components, OEMs add more vendors. Because of this, vendors don't dedicate capacity as they're unsure whether the OEM will fully utilize it. Therefore, vendors face frequent priority conflicts between different customers' orders. This inevitably leads to frequent delays in supply of parts to OEMs. For aftermarket businesses, frequent rescheduling by the OEM causes the vendors to give low priority to their aftermarket too. Therefore, the aftermarket production capacity is often rescheduled to meet OEM needs. This also disrupts the vendor's monthly plan of raw material, bought outs, manpower, capacity and so on. This further increases delays and disrupts the supply of parts. Auto parts companies believe that the way out of this vicious loop is to seek capacity utilization commitment from OEMs. But OEMs want to retain their flexibility, creating a virtual standoff. However, some companies have found out ways to get out of the stressful vicious loop. Click on the link to understand how they could de-stress to deliver.